Hey miners, welcome back to the Prospector Podcast. I am your host, Avery Camille Wendell. Fellow editorial staff from the Prospector will be speaking about body positivity, new music by Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo, and preparing to go back to school. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to the Prospy Podcast. Yay. I have some very amazing guests. These hey. are some of the editors from the Prospy. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Fatima? Oh, well, hi. <laughs> um, I'm Fatima Alvarado. I'm the layout editor for the Prospector. Hello, my name is Eric Acosta. I am the web and copy editor for The Prospector. And I'm Marco Hinojosa, the audience and engagement editor for The Prospector. Slay. Mega. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be speaking about uh, summer body positivity, um, new music by Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift, and going slay. back to school. So Not, not slay. slay. Not slay. That's not, not a slay. slay. Mm-mm. Got it. So starting off with our first topic, summer body positivity, can we talk about gym talk real quick? Mm. I don't know if you guys have like on your TikTok where it's just like a bunch of like gym TikTokers. Yeah. Look. I don't know if you guys have I that. I actually do not have that. I, I don't have I don't. that. I have people I cooking. It sometimes. It's, but like, <laughs> it's like, like they're scary. Like, look, if you're a gym freak, I get it. Go th- good for you, you know, mm-hmm. work. But like also there's like some people that are like, you are pushing yourself to like it's not healthy you know get some help yeah. i'm concerned for you you know is everything okay yeah. mm-hmm. but um i guess do you but i mean i don't know yeah and like i don't know if you've seen like oh, I, for- I forgot how to pronounce their name drew offalo or drew oh Ofalo? yeah the, I think that's uh-huh. or Brittany broski yes like oh, they Brittany. they really talk about like being plus size or mid size, mm-hmm. and it's like when Drew like comes after like men on like TikTok, <laughs> that like oh my god, because it's like so stupid. Like, as like a mid size like woman, it's like so hard to like watch these like gym TikTokers like all over my for you page. It's like, bro, I don't want to go to the gym, like, I'd yeah. rather just stay at home and sleep. Uh-huh. Like, don't judge me for my eating habits or not going to the gym. Like, leave me alone. Yeah. I think that's just weird that, like, people are judging, like, on your eating habits. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's the dumbest thing. Yeah, yeah, like, meal prep culture. I think I spoke about that in my yeah. other yeah. stories. But, like, I feel like there's nothing wrong with meal prep culture. I think just, like, if you're going to judge someone else for how they eat and how, like, they exercise, I feel like that's just, like, kind of yeah. dumb. Like, I feel like you should focus on yourself. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I feel like everyone else has their own idea of what's healthy to them Mm -hmm. Mm. yeah so i guess moral of it is just people need to mind their business business, please Mm. if i want to eat a whole bag of cheetos let me eat my whole bag of cheetos like if if i'm craving a burger from mcdonald's let me eat my burger from mcdonald's can i not just have a pint of ice cream to myself (laughs) for real what's wrong with that like there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever (laughs) no literally like please eat (laughs) yes literally yeah, yeah, like, sometimes my mom, like, she'll come up to me. She's like, are you eating? I'm so worried about you. I'm like, girl, I just had a spoonful <laughs> of Frosty <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's like, you know, do your thing, you know? Yeah. Yes, go to the gym. Like, sometimes I'm like, ah, I need to go to the gym. But then again, I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. uh, I tried working out in my dorm room, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, kind of not it. I can't. I can't do this. I've actually <laughs> never been to a gym oh. whatsoever. I think I went once. I'm kind of scared to like, go to one, though. It's intimidating. It's not for me. You know? Yeah, it is. Because I don't know why. I feel like everyone's looking at you. Yeah. It's yeah. because of so all scary. the, like, major gym bros that are, like, yeah. like jacked up that make you, like, feel like you don't belong there. Because they you are know? looking at you. Yeah. They are judging you. Yeah. <laughs> No, the last time, I don't think I spoke about this before. The last time I went to Planet Fitness, I don't even know if this is, like, allowed to be talked about. Um, 
<laughs> my stuff got stolen out of the locker room. Oh and then a girl's car got broken into and stolen by oh the same god. person. Oh, oh my god. god. And so I was like, okay, this is a sign that I do not need to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Then I went to the rec center the day after and they were like, You don't you're not taking summer classes, so you can't come in or else you'll have to pay seventy dollars for the whole summer. I'm like Damn. You know what? This is a <laughs> sign. Oh my god. But like, how did they know? Like, do they know that you're not taking summer classes? I guess it like shows on your account. I I don't mm. know. But okay. It's like but like, come on, y'all. I'm a UTEP student. You know. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like if there's proof of registration for the fall, they should just let you exactly. In the summer, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Also, like we work here. Like, what mm -hmm. if you work here and like live here? Then like what? Hmm. I swear, UTEP has the dumbest things ever. Sometimes <laughs> it irks me. <laughs> don't get me started on that. <laughs> no, for real. T. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just. I just took it as a sign and I was like, you know what? I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat this summer and I don't care yeah. anymore. Like, if mm -hmm. you want to judge me, do it on your own time. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs>I'm just gonna say I get like how Taylor Swift is like posting like her new music under like her rights and whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. she should. I just don't get the hype if it's the same songs that we've heard when we we're like little. Um, I don't know. I think that's kind of controversial. That is actually, oh my god! Like, I mean, it's like <laughs> you're getting canceled. Um. <laughs> Here's my thing. Here's my thing. We should not be listening to songs. By Scooter, like whatsoever, like those are yeah. stolen songs yeah. from Scooter. Like we should not be profiting from that. And I feel like these new songs are much better. I feel like mm -hmm. it's kind of cool when artists go back and they kind of like record their old discography. It kind of, I think it kind of shows their growth mm -hmm. and bring something new to that song yeah. that was kind of missing before, which I kind of like about it. I didn't think about that. But yeah. I don't know. Like never grow up. Oh. It kind of hits harder now with her mature voice and everything. Right? Because I feel like it hits different when her, she's, like, more matured. Her voice has grown yeah. than what she was a long time ago, like, 10 years ago. For sure. So I think it's kind of cool when artists do it. I don't know. True. I agree. But in this situation, do not listen to Scooter Braun. Like, do not listen to the older versions. Please, like, come on. Never it has that. to say Taylor's version. Exactly. Or else you're giving money to someone else. Exactly. I don't know. That's, like, the only version is the one I hear on the radio. And that's it. Like... Mm. I don't know whose version is. Oh. <laughs> I get it. Do you, you not listen to Taylor? No, not no. really. Oh, Avery. God. Oh. I haven't listened to Taylor since, like, mm, Folklore? Okay. okay. That's, that's, well, that can work. Maybe. But that was, like, one song, and I was like, oh, oh never mind. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <a> She's <laughs> a fake fan, you guys. <laughs> She's very fake. I don't know. I just don't get the hype. She kind of scares me. Why? Not Avery know. being anti-Taylor oh Swift. I feel like... <laughs> No, I feel like she's a sweet person, but, like, she can be, like, toxic at times. Hmm. Hmm. Question oh for the God. culture. That's hey, but, like, what do you mean by toxic at times? Like, what are you talking about? Because, like, her bad blood era, I feel like that was, like, be a bitch to, like, oh, my God, I just cussed. I don't know. If <laughs> you know what? I don't care. We'll like, Chris cut that out. Be yeah. a bitch to, like, everyone and, like, screw everyone, like, do whatever you want. But it's, like... Do you have to be mean to everyone? Like, just because they're being mean to you back, just, like, take it and then grow from it, you know? Don't be like, I'm going to have bad blood with everyone. Um, <laughs> to you. I don't know. I get that, but I feel like she deserved the revenge. Because, like, I agree. of everything that she went through and everybody was, like, hating on her and stuff. I don't know. I'm Team Taylor. That's why. Yeah. I just, I don't know. You know what my brother asked me last night? He said, do you think Kanye West made... Taylor Swift famous and I say no but Ooh. how I also respond to that is I guess you can say yes because reputation like it's a oh. big middle finger to Base, yeah. you know all the haters all the ones that were trying to like keep her down especially Kim you know especially with the snake emojis and everything oh, she's so, dumb. so um, <laughs> I'm sorry but that was kind of iconic I'm so yeah, sorry like, like no like, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a big fan of Kim but like I when I saw that tweet I was like that's kind of slay huh. I'm so sorry but that's kind of slay I just like drama you know True. Controversial. Here's the thing. Uh, me personally, I don't like Kanye whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I don't think he made her famous, but I think like it kind of elevated yeah. her career There's a lot little of bit yeah. in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he made her made her famous, in mm -hmm. my personal opinion. That was mm -hmm. all on her. True. 
I don't know. That whole thing with, like, Kanye and Taylor Swift, I never understood. I was like, all right, like, I get it, but, okay. <laughs> this is just, like, another, she like, cancel culture thing. Like, what I think was the dumbest thing ever. Like, yeah. why did that ever happen? I don't know. Wasn't it, like, he was saying that, like, they all slept together or something? I have no idea. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, the music video where oh, he, yeah. like, had everyone in They're, like, all the naked. Bed. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. That was a little That was weird. He's crazy. Yeah. But that's like know. normal behavior for like Kanye. <laughs> yeah. That's like. <laughs> an average Monday afternoon for Kanye. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. <laughs> it was just oh nothing God. for him. He's like, yeah, guys. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like Kanye West is like crazy because of like the Kardashians. Low key. Mm. You think? I think. I think it's like I a get think out so. situation. <gasps> I mean. Ooh, tea. I don't like the Kardashians, but like at the mm. same time, I'm not gonna blame them for a way ma- a man acts. Like I hate the yeah. the Kardashian curse because it's like putting the blame on the women. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but also, like, I'm not a big fan as well of the Kardashians. Yeah. But, like, I kind of feel bad for Kim when he was like Kanye was just like dragging her. Yeah. Like I feel like that's like True. that's like like the mother of your kids. Like I feel like you should have more respect in that personally. Cause like who does that? Like dragging yeah. like the mother of your own kids, and your kids are gonna see this when they grow up, and seeing you acting this way. Like it kind of like I don't know. I kind of yeah. feel bad for her at that time. I love Kim though. Yeah. I, mm. I, I honestly guilty pleasure and confession. I do like to watch the Kardashians. It's, it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna it's lie. Funny. It's, it's funny. funny. It's, it's so just funny. like like the things that they say and how they say it. It's like oh my god. Have okay, you, but like, like what? Okay, what's everyone's take on what about the whole Courtney versus Kim? <gasps> Team Courtney. Sorry, no, came she's up. too corny for me. I love Courtney. I Kourtney. hate Courtney. I am so sorry, but like, what does she have? Like, what does she bring to this family? Oh she God. brings absolutely nothing. I think she's so funny. I don't know. I think Chloe is the funniest one in the family. Kendall, mm-hmm. you know, she does her modeling. She's, yeah, she does all that. Chloe brings, not Chloe, what's her other one? Uh, Kylie. Kylie. Oh, she brings Kylie. the makeup, you know, and Kim's like the star of the show. Yeah. Courtney, what does she bring? I think she's so funny. She brings nothing. She, like, she, brings, she brings nothing to the table. I feel like she has no career for herself oh. except for being a mother, which is nothing wrong with that. But like, <laughs> what does she have? Like, what does she bring to this family? Travis. Nothing. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. No. But even no. Travis, like, who even likes Travis? I'm so sorry. I don't like Travis. But I, just, I feel like Travis is more I popular. I love Scott. Than... I'm so sorry. I love Scott. Yeah, me too. I feel like I love Scott, Sc- but Scott I don't and her were together. perfect. I no. hate Scott. No, they should not be together. I They're love so them together. Passion. I'm sorry. Hate is a strong word. Never say I hate. love them together. <laughs> Scott was so funny. He's so he still funny. is funny. I I just he's so funny. Him. He just, like, oh my God, I cannot stand Scott. I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of Courtney. Just my opinion. I love Courtney. I think she's so funny. But yeah, I guess she's super annoying sometimes. But I just don't like how they hate on her. Like I think she deserves it. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh <laughs> like, my God. what? Is, cause like, no. like she has no successful career. She had good pills, like vitamins. Pills. No one's talking about it. I'm so sorry, no. Courtney. <laughs> like, I don't know. What does she bring? Name yeah. one thing. What does she bring? Well, her funniness, her humor, her quirkiness. I she's very quirkiness. quirky indeed. I, mean, I don't know. She's different. Mm. Chloe she has is. that. Chloe has the quirkiness. Chloe has the funniness. I don't know. I feel like. Chloe's been so mean lately. She is really she mean. She actually is. Yeah, mean. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I kind of get it because she, like she's been through a lot. She has yeah. been through a lot. Poor, poor Chloe. Here's another thing I want to ask you guys. Have you guys like saw the pictures of um what's her name? Chloe, Kylie, and um Jordan. Mm. Yes. yes. That's drama. Oh what my do you guys God. think about that? Wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kylie's who old best friend who cheated <gasps> on Tristan. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Cheated with. There was like, I think came out this week, like they they were spotted together, yeah. hanging out. But like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's like like forgiveness. I mm-hmm. don't know. That's good, but I feel like I kind of feel bad for Jordan because I feel like the entire family literally Went attacked her. her. Like, mm. and, yeah. And not True. nobody batted eye towards Tristan whatsoever. But I'm all for a good redemption moment. True. You yeah. know, like I'm all. F- I hate to be one of those pre- one of those people, but like, I believe in. Not even second chances. All the chances you got, you know. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta yeah. be like actually um, with it, like with a change. True. Controversial. T. Wait, did did Tristan go after her, or did did they like just? I have no um, idea. Like, I don't remember that. I remember ha- that happening. I just don't remember. I just remember like I think they slept together, something no. like that. But weren't they no. broken they out? out. Oh. They they weren't broken up, Chloe and Tristan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were having a baby. Yeah, correct. And then uh, Tristan and Jordan went to a party, 
and they made out uh, while actually, she was I don't leaving. Know. Maybe not. Maybe I can't <laughs> give second chances. <laughs> Uh, but know. that's like my big thing. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, Jordan did was wrong. But like, why do we as a society go after the woman <gasps> instead of the yeah. men that did the cheating? Like, yeah. he knew Period. that he was in a relationship with Chloe, that they were gonna have a baby together. Factual. And yeah, like the entire everyone went after Jordan, but not him. And uh, he did like, it again. And he did it again. And everyone oh was like, God. okay, like whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, why do we do as a society? I think that's kind of dumb. Uh, speak now, you know. <laughs> speak now. <laughs> speak now. <laughs> mm. Like it's just so dumb. Like. They both cheated. He also cheated as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's just my opinion. They all just need to date better men. That's like, true. Yeah. Yes. They just men just better. need to be better. How about that? That's true. Like, yeah. I don't that's think any true. of them has had a good relationship. Level it up. But I feel like that's also just because they're like so famous that like mm. they can't find anyone. They don't know anyone normal, I guess. Yeah. That's tea. true. That's very true. But I would like to see one of them just date a normal guy. Like a freaking that's doctor true. or like a teacher or something. I don't know. Oh, like Chris's boyfriend? Yeah, he was, boyfriend? Yeah, he was yeah. the bodyguard. Yeah. yeah. He's actually kind of cute. Like, <gasps> Loki. Yeah. Like something like, like, like for fun, real. Like a regular oh. guy to date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like are cute. I Simple. Them. Where are the plain Janes at? True. Mm-hmm. Not true. How can we make this about Taylor again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just switched I don't to know. Sorry. <laughs> just Team Taylor, it. listen to Taylor, and um, listen to her version. Stream, don't listen speak to now, Taylor's version. Dear John, Taylor's yes. version, Supremacy. Enchanted. Yes. Enchanted. <gasps> Enchanted's my favorite song. Back to I December. Love I love that song. You know. Back to December, I literally cried to that song. Yeah. I love that no. song. I love that song so much. I love it. It's not my favorite album, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm oh, so sorry sure. to no. the fans out there. Folklore. It's not my favorite album. Folklore? Folklore. What's your... Me? Yeah. I love folklore, but yeah. I also love Midnight's. But also, Midnight's. I, love, I love Lover. I'm a big Lover person. I love Lover. It's so cute. The yeah. Archer. It's kind of so sad. Yes, I love Archer. I think he knows. I don't know. Yes. <sighs> Stream Taylor. Listen to Taylor Swift. You know, do your thing. Okay, I have a question because I genuinely don't know like Taylor's like dating history or whatever. Mm. I know about John. I know. I don't know who else like the that ten minute version. What was that about? Uh, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. I'm so sorry. Don't another like co- another controversial opinion. I actually love Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, my guys. best friend does too. I think he's so cute. I am so sorry. Mm. I know. Anyways, I know he's probably toxic, very very toxic. But I think he's so cute. Number one is Taylor Lautner. Actually, yeah, it's, he's no. He, he just had an interview and he said it's not Lautner. It's Lautner. Lautner. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. I don't know. I think I love Joe, but I hate the way I hate him at the end. I yeah. love Joe. So there's Joe Alwyn, Taylor Lautner, Taylor Lautner. Jack Dylan Hall, um, Harry Styles, right? Yeah. Harry Styles, oh God, yeah. Right. John Mayer. Um, the guy, Loki, what's his name? Oh, oh yeah. they should have been Endgame. He and Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> yes, I love was him. About midnight He's so rain. handsome. Oh. He also, she also dated Calvin Harris. That yeah. is really? true. Yeah, I didn't and know that. Sheeran, like a no? brief time, oh. I think. No, no, I think they're, they're just, just best friends. friends. Mm. What Ed Sheeran? Everything yeah. has changed. Made me think that they were dating. I do oh. like Joe. I just don't like. I don't know. Like I don't like how they broke up. Like he knew yeah. Yeah. that. Like he knew for this long, mm. for six years, that she's Taylor Swift. Like she's a big superstar. Like I don't know. Like oh, that kind of, that kind of goes into Ariana Grande. I was gonna that say too. Oh, oh no, her divorce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because apparently I don't believe it until she says something. Yeah. But if it's true, like these men need to get it together for real. Like I just don't understand. Like you knew that these people were famous. Yeah. Like you it's knew coming into this relationship mm. that these girls, like they're well known, they're big pop stars. Yeah. You know they're gonna be surrounded by fame, people, crazy things, and yeah. yet you date them, and but like you yeah. still end breaking their hearts. Like it's just so dumb. Drama. But mm-hmm. I think it's also because it's like. It's the man that n- is the bigger person and ultimately knows what's wrong and what's right. Mm-hmm. Like, how could you go forward with this? See, like, that's why she's probably writing all these songs. Like, how could you? You know, it's that's true. how I think of it as. You know. Yeah. Because sometimes I follow under, I fall underneath the same issues. No, then, same. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But it's like, I don't know. Like. It's like the same cycle. Like she can't break out of it, and yeah. that's what annoys me a little bit. Mm. Drama. Mm. Same. Too. I, I like which. the. <laughs> I like the songs that she comes out exactly. with. Exactly. She kind of slays. Men, so. Well, I don't know. But like. But I agree. Yeah. It's like, fool me once, shame Avery, on you. Do you have twice. a favorite Taylor Swift song? Yeah. Or album. I don't know. 
Ooh. I don't listen to her. Avery's that literally a to, fake like, fan. I don't she know. Really I see like the TikToks of people like getting ready for like a tour concert or whatever. Yeah. And people are going all out. I'm like, I get the hype, but it's like, I respect it. Mm-hmm. Just, I'm yeah. not, you know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. I like how you wanted to speak about Taylor Swift <laughs> and then just like come out as like, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. It's just I don't I don't get it. The girls that get it, the girls that get it. Simple as that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I don't get it. I used to get it when I was little, but not anymore. Mm-hmm. I know Red. When I was a little, oh, I was obsessed that, with Red. That's probably my favorite album oh, when I was little. I love Red. Like, In 1989. <gasps> I love 1989. I fear for 1989, Taylor's version. I feel like it's going to do something big. Mm-hmm. New romantics. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Down. I'm so excited. I don't know. I'm kind of like worried for like the fans because I feel like after this tour, I know. it's gonna be crickets, like nothing. Mm, I feel like, yeah. yeah. Like Harry Styles. Yeah. He's been touring for so long though. Yeah. Like, I know, but he needs a break. I think he's gonna take a really long I break. I think he Good. deserves it though. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of sad. Me too. I'm but sad, like he but deserves like, it. I feel like he's been working so hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He deserves it. I agree, but I'm just gonna be sad. Yeah. I need. But we'll get new music soon. Probably for a long time, but like I think you know, yeah. it's good for these artists to rest their voices. You know? Yeah, please, True. Like True. we're begging. So Is he still with Olivia Wilde? No, no, no. Oh. Thank no, God. No, 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 no. Thank God. Thank God. Oh Thank my God, God. I God. cannot stand Olivia Wilde. What? No, I no, don't. What? she's you toxic. I don't she's like she's Olivia right. Wilde. She's alright. She's not mm. my favorite, but she's alright. No. Mm. Speaking of Olivia. <gasps> Olivia, Olivia oh, Rodrigo. The transition to <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Love Olivia. Um, I'm so sorry, her? but like her new single was not oh it for me. Okay, that's what I was gonna. Ask. Oh, you both are canceled. No. I don't care. I don't care what you guys say. It was I mean, not it. It was not fun. Ooh. I didn't like it. Ooh. It was I'm still hype. I'm it. still hype about the album. I'm excited for the album. I disagree. The single was just not it for me. I was like, <gasps> this is it. <laughs> No, I sorry. loved it. I'm I listen sorry. to yeah. it every day. Honestly, it's yeah. literally my anthem right now. It's kind of everything. Ooh. It's so good, the and bridge. I feel like it's not only like towards like a relationship, like like a romantic relationship. You could put it towards your be- like a toxic best friend that you yeah. have. Yeah. That's how I'm doing it. So I mm. love listening no. to it. This yeah. is about Jacob. Are you guys having beef? No, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> no. I do have beef with Jacob. Oh. <laughs> Because he's not here. Jacob's not here for this. Watch summer, out, Jacob. <laughs> Watch out, Jacob. He's so fake for that. Honestly, he really is oh, fake. Anyways. I don't know. It was all right. I um, I haven't listened to, like, I haven't sat down and actually listened to the whole thing because I'm just, like. I listened to mm. it the first night it came out. And I, was not I, love it. It. I love it. I love it. I really love it. I love it. I'm too. excited for the album. And I actually like the album title, Guts. Guts. I think it's kind of yeah. cool. I actually like it. She's so. I think she had a missed opportunity to make her second album called Sweet. No, now the first one was I feel like that was Honestly, very predictable. True. I feel like that's very predictable for her to But sometimes predictable is cute. Eh. Uh, eh. I don't know. Yeah. A lot of people are hating on her for making it purple again. But I feel like oh. that's actually, her color. It's her color. I actually like it as purple. I feel like it's like a darker pr- purple mm-hmm. that she's going with this album. Yeah. Which I kind of like. Yeah. I feel like this album would be darker, which I kind of am here for it. And edgy. She said it was gonna be rocky, so yeah, I'm excited. I'd be down. Yeah. Do you guys think like she's like the new Taylor Swift though? No, no. no I hate no. it when people I say know. that. I feel like it takes away from everything she yeah. does. I don't know. I think that's why she doesn't talk about Taylor anymore. I think a lot of the fans between them say that she is, but I don't think I feel like she's her own person. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I didn't like Olivia Rodrigo. <gasps> well, no, no, no. Wait, I liked her, but then I like didn't like her, and then it wasn't until March where um, Variety, no, was it Variety? I think it was Billboard had a music, because you know how March's um, Women's oh, History Month. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. they were having a the uh, awards, right? Yeah, like a women in music event, and um, Olivia Rodrigo was um, presenting an award to my fave Lana Del Rey, and then but like she was like honoring her, so I was like, okay, I respect Olivia right now. You I know, love Lana. Yeah. Lana so yeah. Yeah. But um, I do like the song. It reminds me a lot of a Lana song. That's why. Okay. Well, also reminds me a lot of a Conan Gray song, but I guess that's just because yeah, same producer, seen. you know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I like it. I like. I think she like vocally grew a lot. Oh, mm-hmm. Like I feel like I wasn't expecting it Love at all. Sucker. She I needs a break for real. She does. Because everyone's break. hating on her, and I, I defend her with my life. I will be excited though for this next tour because you know how her last tour was like. Forty minutes. Yeah. Because she only had. <laughs> the couple She's songs, crazy. you know so i'm excited True. for the next tour to be a little bit more of a actual full length 
yeah. concert, you know? Hopefully she books, like, bigger venues. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. she only had small ones, and I could have get in. Yeah. Like, I get the process of, like, you know, I'm a growing artist, so I want to... Start small. Yeah, start yeah. small. But, like, girl, you weren't ever a small coming artist. Like, you were already big like once you were on Disney Channel, so... Mm-hmm. True. Mm. T. She's my it girl right now. I love her. I get it. I feel like Sour, like, I'm just going to, like, say it. It was based on Joshua. And I feel that like was such a good album though. <laughs> it was a good album. I don't I like Joshua. I'm so sorry. I don't like him either. Oh my god. I'm so so that's uh, literally uh, my man. Don't I love that. Uh, I love that. <laughs> you like <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo and you like Joshua, Joshua? Bassett? Yeah. Well so it's like that's a hot take. Yeah, that's that like is a hot take. Harry I don't Styles like and, Taylor Swift and I love Sabrina Carpenter. But Ooh. we're not. I love her. I think she's so I just pretty. didn't like her skin song. I don't know. She was shading on Olivia, and it was not cool at all. I feel like they all sound the same, so honestly, I, I don't. Oh, you know. we do not. Sorry. What here. What do you listen to? Avery? <laughs> I know. Like, Avery. I just feel like they listen. I just is. feel like they all sound the same. They're all like. Oh my god! Dis- the Disney voices. Should I just call you trees now? Oh, I love. That's why I heard it. And there's no hate against her. You know why? Because she has a good man. A good oh, man. As you should. Yeah. She's a should. good man, Virginia. <laughs> no, but really, like, what kind of music do you like? Because honestly, you're hating everything. <laughs> I just don't like, I don't know, like Taylor Swift. Who's your it girl right now? Yeah, who's your it person? I would say Kali mm. I respect that, honestly. Respect She's that. good. I love her. You I know? love Kali She's so sensual. She's so she beautiful. Is. I, I think my new it girl right now is Ice Spice. Really? Oh. I don't. I don't like I'm a Ice munch. Spice. I don't care what everyone says. <laughs> I love Ice Spice. Um. I love her. She's so slay. She gets it. Like, she's just so slay. Hot take. I I don't like her at all. I feel mm. like she's so. <laughs> you're so fake for that. But yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're really like good girl kind of yeah type music. Like she doesn't listen to rap. No cussing. Nothing. Um, <laughs> Christian no. rock. Christian rock. <laughs> like a Christian woman. No. No. I'm not hating. I, I love. That's kind of slay. I'm not lying. <laughs> Um, no, I just don't like her. I feel like she just speaks. Yeah, like okay. that makes sense. I feel she's like definitely not on the level of Nicki Minaj. Like yeah. Oh no, no, because I feel like she's barely starting out. You guys, she's like, just she's like barely in her career. She's just something career. fun to listen to. I'm like, hey, okay, like, she's fun for the girls. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. the gays, uh-huh. and the they thems, and everyone. True. Also, her verse in like the Taylor Swift song. Oh, song. Karma so bad. Oh, so karma bad. was so bad. I hated so that one. Bad. <laughs> so bad. I tried to so ignore bad. it. Yeah. But Barbie World with Nicki Minaj. That was good. I haven't heard it. Oh, it's so good. Not anyways but that's back a good school <laughs> that's a good segment back to school back to school um, hooray i want to cry i don't want to go back to school yet i i need a I break but i'm so excited to go honestly, back to school that, i don't know yeah. i have mixed feelings about it here's my I'm hot so take. excited i'm all for a good little note taking at a coffee shop though not in class not yeah. in class at all at a good coffee shop let me sit down put on my headphones ooh it's like a crisp 66 degrees outside gray skies oh it's raining a little bit good coffee. i will say this the fall semester always hits a yeah. i never had so a ball yeah. a bad fall semester yeah. it's always good it's always fun the best mm-hmm. weather the best seasons are there but oh. spring semester is the worst semester, yeah. semester ever. sucks i'm so sorry it was <laughs> my first there. spring semester and i feel it was so depressing it i don't is. know why i fell into a depression like yeah. i literally because it's not fun like i don't know like, everything bad around. happens in the spring semester oh my God. everything mm-hmm. bad possible is, can happen is this a canon event for every college college student, student? <gasps> it is like i'm not gonna lie like, the spring semester is just not fun yeah from I personal know. experience i never had a fun spring semester mm-hmm. but then don't get me wrong like seasonal depression like i will be sad in the fall Really? Like, yeah. I never get seasonal depression Bad. in the fall. I usually get them in the springtime. Yeah. Yeah. I get so Me sad. Too. I don't know why. It's usually around March when it hits, mm. and I'm just like, I, I just don't agree. Know. major burnout in the spring. Major. I don't burnout. care anymore. I actually <laughs> never suffered a burnout at all. Not Ooh. one. Good. Not one. Good. Depression, yes, semester. but not burnout. Last semester was tough. Yeah, but I just love fall semester. Tough. I feel like the fall semester is just it's so much so fun. Good. It's like, I don't know, the outfits you can put together. Yeah. Also, not to mention, like, Minor Palooza. And I just love yeah. I've never Palooza. been. <laughs> I've never Gold been Rush. to one. Never been to one. Gold Rush we should my go, favorite. Eric. We should I didn't go. go last year. I didn't go last year. We should go, go together. Let's go, yeah. guys. 
Let's go. But I, I just feel that I've never been to one. listen to this, that you guys should do it for the spring semester as well. I think that would make all the issues of I think everyone hitting be fun. their spring yeah. semester like be resolved. I think it'd be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it'd be so cold, though. Yeah. Like, I'm so sorry, but like, I don't want to be in matter for when it's cold. Well, maybe mm. like midway when things are warming up, because I feel like uh, maybe especially after spring break, because that's when everyone's like already dreading oh, yeah. midterms True. and yeah. yeah, like we have plenty of activities going on in Centennial, but like it's not minor palooza, which is I feel it could be like spring palooza. <gasps> yes, oh that'd be cute. Oh my god, did you just? Mommy, give me my head tips <laughs> <laughs> to Utah. Get Utah. them on the phone. Utah, do something, please. I don't know. When I came my freshman year, there were so many mm-hmm. events during the spring. I don't know why. Really. Mm-hmm. I but feel like there's more events in the fall. Yeah, no, definitely. But, like, they also had stuff in the spring. And then last year came and it was, like, crickets, like, nothing. Mm. Church, One thing church. I do hate, though, in the fall, it's very, very packed because, like, all the new kids come mm. in. Yeah. But True. in the spring, it's, like, dead because all the you know, people would drop out, people would move, transfer. And I, that's what I love about the fall, the spring, though. Tea. It's mm. kind of empty, which Tea. I kind of like about it. It's True. not packed, yeah, actually. Yeah, you have to get up like two hours <gasps> earlier to leave your house two exactly. hours earlier. Yeah. Which I hate. It's just so crowded and people don't know how to walk because they oh. just walk so slow. They're like holding hands. Exactly. Like, each oh other. God, just yeah. like, this is not high school. You gotta move. <laughs> you gotta move. <laughs> All the lingering True. high school Like, I'm sorry, but like, oh. you gotta move. I'll, That's I'll, a canon event. I give them at least the first week. I'm like, fine, it's the first week. Yeah. Do your thing. But after that, like, you gotta switch it, it up. Together. I'm mm. so sorry. We gave you the Girl. first week. Get it together. Isn't independence like such a fun thing? Like college taught me that. Like independence is a great yeah. thing. I love yeah. being on my own Agreed. to an extent. To an extent, I like being on my own. Me too. I don't know my own. Yeah. I don't know. Tea. What's some like good advice for like incoming freshmen that you have? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Good topic. Um, I don't know. Mm. I always say get involved. Yeah. yeah. Please get involved. Yeah. I feel like that was my biggest mistake. It was like I feel like I got involved more this semester than I did when I first joined. Plus, I feel like when I did join college, it was during COVID, mm-hmm. so it was nothing going on. Yeah. So I couldn't really enjoy anything. But when I did try to go back into college, it was like activities, and I just didn't get involved. So I feel like that's a big tip for all mm-hmm. freshmen: please get involved. Even if you're like scared to, just yeah. do it. Because like, yeah. I feel like it does help with the college experience. You, you know, you connect yeah. with people, build friendships. You kind of feel like you belong. You don't feel alone. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's like something in that you're really interested in yeah. with a bunch mm-hmm. of other people that are interested in it. Yeah. You know, like having you guys being also all like we're all in the same room Field. following yeah. journalism. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so you are alone out there and you are following journalism. Join the prospector. Because yes. we're here. Promo. See? See? Not the You'll promo. So <laughs> <laughs> Not the free promo. But yeah, <laughs> yes. it's true. Um, mm. I would say don't do so much during the summer I guess like don't work too hard because once you get to college you're gonna want to die like you're not you're not gonna want to be like doing anything you'll Mm -hmm. be so tired I feel like another thing is also like for me my biggest issue when I joined college was like kind of like like managing my time true to me that was the biggest thing I had to do so you know I wanted to hang with my family hang with my friends even though I had like an exam to study for Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's my biggest problem just time management and you know I know it's hard and that's also a big thing yeah. students need to know is to just try and manage their time. My advice is to romanticize your life a little bit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that goes with Always anything good. Yeah. in life. I'm really I think it goes with that. anything in But life. especially in college because, for like, sure. it's easy for people to, like, let's say people are just antisocial. Like, point blank period. They do mm-hmm. not want to join an event. I get that. I still think you should make the most out of it yourself. Whether it be just going to a coffee shop, do your homework at a coffee shop. You know, listen to some good music. Sit at a park. There's plenty of benches around UTEP. So romanticize your life. Make it fun. Make it dramatic. Act like you're in a movie. You are the main character. Yeah. That's actually no, true. That's actually true. So. Mm, right? Yeah. No, literally. I was going to say something, but then I forgot. Um, Is there any classes you're excited for? Any, you know, <laughs> classes you're like, ooh, I'm so excited mm, for this one. I'm starting my major like classes. Ooh. Which semester? major do I think they're going to Communication. Ooh, that's so yeah, so I have to... I'm a minor in marketing, so I have to take business, professional communications, and I'm excited? not excited. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> I think I'm most excited for nothing. No, okay. I'm just kidding. It's like <laughs> I have to take a writing class, so I'm excited Ooh, for that. Yeah. Which class? Is it creative writing? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I have to take that. Is it semester. intermediate? Is that f- like for your electives, right? No. 
I have to check, but it's a writing class, and I'm excited because I didn't do like any basics last semester except for like political science. But yeah, mm. I love political science. It was I hate so the good. first part. No, it's good. I hate the second part. Boring. Who did you have it with? <sighs> it was some like. British guy, I forgot Ooh. his name. Oh, oh God, you had him? Um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, uh, Timmins. I love Patrick Timmins. Patrick Timmins. I love you. <laughs> yeah, you taught me a lot. Shout out. You did. <laughs> you gave a lot of work, but I learned so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like so a lot more aware of my surroundings. Thank you. I didn't That's like cool. political science. Who did you take it with? For me? Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't remember his name. Ooh, and it was at the Union in the Cinema Theater. No, oh, mm. that's probably why. <laughs> it was during the spring of 2022, and I just did not like it. Jesus. I was so bored on that class. And it was political science, the second course. Second mm. course, you have to take. Yeah, and that one's was, boring. Yeah, it was I very boring. I have to take that one. <laughs> I have to take that one it's this semester. It's so boring. It's so but boring. It was I not fun. I had the fun. same teacher from the first one. Oh, Who really? Oh. Uh, her name's Ashley Rodriguez. Okay. I do remember her because she was my favorite from last semester. Yeah, so. I had taught something for political science one. I don't remember his name. It was Todd something. Mm. Todd. Shout out Todd. Okay. Shout out Todd. I don't know if you still work here or not. It was a long time ago. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, you were pretty fun. True. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of scared about my classes, like, because they're all, like, major classes. Yeah. And I don't want to do <laughs> I, I just it. don't want to. I don't think I have a class on like actually uh, digital photography because it's with um, a professor I had in the past, uh, Professor Lama. Love him. Oh, he's okay. a s- he's shout out to Lama. He's a very sweet man, um, and uh, it's photography, so yeah. that's exciting. That should you be know? fun. Yeah, it's yeah. so fun. That's a slay. Also excited to redo French. I love French, so I'm just. Glad I get to do it all over again. Marco's uh, going to teach me French oh my this God, semester. Yeah. I know. He Bonsoir. taught me a little bit last semester yeah. saying thank you uh-huh. and you're welcome. He's going to teach all of us. And bless you. And bless you. Yeah. I don't remember how it's to say any of them. A tu sué. A tu sué. A tu sué. A tu sué. He's going to teach all of us French. Yeah. yeah. For real. Basically. As he should. So. You're going to teach us on production days. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. oh, yeah. So you can good. study for your exam. We're losing our minds. Yeah. Just be like, oh, my God. It's vital for whenever journalists, you know, go Guys, I'm kind of excited for production days. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. I'm so excited for production days. I don't care. I'm very excited for production days. I know. I don't know. I know. I had a rough time. But I just feel like because I have to wait for everyone to be That's done. True. That's so true. So I'm like literally there like. True. But I feel like just like for me and Avery, it's like since this is our first production, production day as editors, it's going to be so much fun. I'm very excited. It'll be very interesting. I hope you and Nico get along. <laughs> oh, we'll he's see. not going to be there because. Well, 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 maybe he will. I'll, we'll force him to come with us. I feel like yeah. he's an honorary editor yeah. at this point. That's yeah. true. That's he's going to come. Yeah. Mm. Um, I talked to Eric about this, how I don't use a planner. <laughs> school year. What? I don't like. Please use your planner, you I guys. I don't use a planner. I just I don't know how if my classes are just like too not easy but like easy to remember stuff. I just like put like a little sticky note app on like my Mac mm-hmm. and I just write everything down there mm-hmm. and that's that's how I remember everything. Like I don't use a planner. I don't like do anything else. I just do it the day. It's like given and I'm done. Mm. So like if you're one of those people, just do it when it's given and yeah. just get over it. No, up. please no. Use, use your, your planner, <laughs> please. Yeah. Use your minor guides. Exactly. Also as well, use your minor guides. I feel like having a planner just helps keep you organized. You know what you need to do. You know what is the deadlines and everything. Should we promote our minor guide? Yeah. Bring oh it out. God, Bring it out. It. <laughs> so Vero worked really hard on this minor guide. So shout she out ate. to Vero. It's beautiful. It's, it's actually stickers. really good. It has everything in there. For There's an incoming stickers. freshman, you should have yours. Um, that is true. It has stickers. Oh, my God. There's a calendar that lets you know when our issues are coming out. Yes. And finals, when we oh, have finals, finals, all that when stuff. When grades are due. Mm-hmm. Literally, yeah. she ate with football that. Games. Shout football games. Has football games in there? Yeah. Dang. Shout out to Vito. Go she to ate. all the football games. I will I want to go to one. I want to go to I football games. Go. To <laughs> go to women's <laughs> basketball. Let's go. Let's go. This is, like, this is my last fall semester. I need to experience have you never gone to a football game? I have never gone to a football game. I'm excited guys. to cover one this year. Me either. Right. Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Vato. go. We're doing it. Dude, I want to go. So I want to go to like what's this thing called? Uh, Homecoming? No, like the gate before. Oh, tailgate. I oh, want to go to the tailgate so Me bad. Too. I want to get blasted. I want to have fun. Ooh. Like I want to have yeah. like a real, real like college experience. I get it. This I, get it. I don't care. And we will. I don't care. 
Why? Because I'm in band. Oh. I'll cheer you on, Avery. I'm not even joking to you, Avery. When I, I see remember, you, I will cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time, me and my friends, before we had to go to a football game, we went to Subway. Mm. And there was these people having, like, a tailgate. And they're like, do you guys want a shot? Like, oh. hey, get a shot. Like, get, oh get wasted with us. Or, like, no, we have to perform in, like, an hour and they're like Dang. oh sorry do you still want one? Oh, oh. <laughs> i was like no we're going to so, so considerate when is the first football game i need to know i think it's marco like, pull it up <laughs> isn't it like the first or second week of school i, I don't even know because like i want to go to a football game this semester hold on the first game's like Are they beautiful oh, okay beautiful <laughs> it's so good hold on that's an away game the first home oh, game you should go to the nmsu game Oh, yes. At NMSU. Road trip. The to NMSU. Road trip. To road trip. Yeah. Oh, my God. When is the first? Um, is it not online? You tell. Because it's all at, at University of Arizona. Oh. Ooh. University. Or Northwestern. There has to be a first home game. Isn't it the, the, the last week of August? Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. Get Emmanuel on yeah. the phone. Oh my God! Literally. No, for real. Uh, yeah, Emmanuel was all this. Yeah. <laughs> At Jacksonville State. Is that real? Well, whenever it is, me and Eric are gonna there. be there. Yeah. We're gonna go. And Marco and Avery. And we're gonna have fun. But there. it's gonna be our first, so we're excited. Yes, I'm really excited. It'll be so much fun. I want to go to a football game me, so bad. Me so too. Bad, so bad. I want to just stand there. Another thing that I do want to go. And I've never been to one of you guys. I want to go to a Halloween party so, so bad. You I'll have one. no idea. I want to <laughs> go to one. Again, this is my last fall semester. I need to experience like the full everything. I love yeah. Halloween. Full everything. True. Me too. And I want to go to a Halloween party. So I have another idea for Utah. They need to put a big Christmas tree in the middle of St. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. That'd, that'd be, be so cute. Heather like, Wilson, get that done, please. That would Utah, be so cute. Hear me out. Who's in charge like of that? Who's right? in charge of that? No. Isn't that like the... But I'm going to beg Miss Wilson. Um, Miss What's that? Dr. No, there's Chris people that, the people that... The people... There's a... They're writing... Oh, for, SGA? Yes, them. Not them, not them. Oh. The student engagement. Oh. Is it them? I'm pretty sure they're in charge of all that stuff. We should write like a proposal yes. and everything. True. Get a Christmas tree. Put it please. on the paper. Put it on the It'd paper. It'd be so like cute. Cover. That's Ooh. a good idea. You know Christmas how there's tree? the Fred Loya mic show lighthouse thing yes. every year? Yes. Cancel that. We have our <laughs> own. Yes. True. It's just like it's the education like, I want building. like a big <laughs> Christmas tree. Like, well, I yeah. want like the yeah. one, like the big, big one. The ones that you see we in downtown. Should. Yeah. Oh, that would and, be like, so cute. We can, like, decorate you should bring it, your own like, ornaments yeah, and like stuff. Each, oh, like, oh, each like, college yes. can like decorate it in their own specific way, yeah. in their own Ooh, section. No, we'll oh, make it sorry. even better and we'll make it a charity event. So like, we can donate toys. Yeah, <gasps> can donate toys. Yes. You tap. Please do something about this. Ooh, <laughs> We're ready. You should. Yeah. Yeah. I am so ready for this. You have no. It's like July. You I don't care. Welcome. I'm ready for this. Me too. I love Christmas and like Halloween. Yeah. I, I love. The I fall. love October, November, December. Perfect yeah. time. Yeah. Because that's when time. all the holidays are. <laughs> Just fun. Fun. Pure fun, fun and fresh. Like I feel like nobody's sad. Well, no, that's not true. I feel well, like people yeah. do get sad during that <laughs> that's time. That's true. But I feel like it's just so much fun. Like that time in the months. I feel like also for like the people that are like alone and like sad. I feel like that would bring them together. And, like it would. Yeah, it's a good like thing to go to. Yeah. Like if you're a freshman and you're like, oh, I want to yeah. meet people. And like, you can like yeah. donate gifts to kids in need. Yeah. The perfect thing to oh, do. Oh, that'd be. So and we have all the presents under the tree. <gasps> it'd be so much. It'd be fun. so cute. Please do something. So Let's do this. Aww. That'd be cute. I'd like to write a proposal to SGA or someone to be like, do this. Literally. Yeah. Sure, I'll send this. Like, I know YouTube has money. We know you guys we have money. We know where it's going. Like, we know you guys have Split money. Split it. Use that money for good at least. Yeah. Or at least get new teachers or something. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of which. Like, I would not go into that, but please. No, I'm going no. into that. Come on. <laughs> please, come on. How do you think accreditation's going to go this this year? I don't know. I'm so scared. I, I hope it doesn't happen because, like, even though, like, ugh, I'm not trying to bash UTEP. I don't, I love UTEP, but UTEP has many, many flaws. Mm. It does. But, like, Probably. please fix this, because, like, we worked really hard on this. We want our degrees. We want our stuff. Yeah. Do we have to, like, leave? I don't know how that I works. Like I really don't know I how that works. I was reading that it was just a big mm, misunderstanding, miscommunication yeah. thing. That's what yeah. I heard. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if I should Harry. expose you to, but during the summer of last year, I had a, a, a teacher, I'm not going to say who, um, she wasn't like an actual professor. She was just like, like she had like 
her bachelor's, I think, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like her master's, and that's it. Ooh. Ooh. And I was like, yeah. how are you? How are you teaching here? Like, it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Call her out, Avery. Yeah. <laughs> no, she was a little <laughs> old woman. Speak I can't. Speak on it. Yikes. I feel like it is true. Like, I feel like, and I was telling Mark about this earlier about that French teacher. Oh, yeah. How this, she was teaching seven other languages, but yet, like, like come on. Like, I feel like UTEP really needs to fix their problem when we it comes to professors. To like, we need better professors. We need better all that stuff. And we ha- we know you guys get, are getting money. Integrity. Like, come on. Like, we know you're getting money. Sure integrity y'all yeah use that money for good instead of all that stuff um <laughs> football Ooh. Ooh. and this is a shape towards UTEP like I love Aerospace. UTEP don't get me wrong <laughs> but like come on like the, UTEP really <laughs> does need better professors at our school true law schools where you at don't Ooh. we have like a law school program thingy it's like mm. I no. not really Mm-mm. it's I don't nothing think we do. it's Damn. nothing I feel like we should have a law school program here I mean come on that was literally like I had one of my fi- the final essay for uh, my political science teacher with Timmons. Mm-hmm. That was my essay, and I had to literally interview like um, um, Senator uh, what's his name? Oh, Senator Blanco, and um, all of his chair representatives and all those super fancy people, and it was a crazy thing so with no answers. Can you believe? Oh, yeah, geez. I know. Jesus, I know. Oh, you Anyways. Anyways. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people would not <laughs> leave El Paso yeah. if the UTEP had what, like, like law or like agriculture or That's why. Like oh, that. it would bring, true. Oh my God, yeah. Like, UTEP's really fumbling the bag. Like, yeah. they could have, we could have, El Paso's fumbling the bag because we could have so much more population and then, um, oh my God, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so sad. My little brother's going to college next year he's graduating this year so but he has to leave because what he wants to study isn't like taught here yeah. what does he want to study show it on us then. I'm so um, sorry. he's gonna do animal science oh wow that's so cool. oh, that makes sense. Yeah. so let me guess he's going to texas tech yes yeah. it's so sad i'm mm. literally so sad about it <laughs> i don't know you touch us you tap you tap you tap god you tap what did i love you tap i'm so sorry you tap you just irk me sometimes <laughs> Shreem Speak Now and Vampire. Uh, Guts is coming out September 7th. Um, school is back to session August 28th. Excited? In a couple weeks. A couple weeks, Whoa. but you know, no, still enjoy your that. summer. <laughs> still <laughs> enjoy your summer. It's still summertime. Is that for enjoy people out? Is that for people out? Yeah. Have mm-hmm. fun. Enjoy your enjoy. summer. Live in the moment. Be safe in the heat, though. Please yeah. be safe in the heat. Drink your water. Drink your water. And Not wear your sunscreen. Water. Bring yeah. your dogs inside. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please. And Can stream Lana Del Rey. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Bye guys. Bye. That was oh, harmonized. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful.